Afternoon from Antarctica. I genuinely cannot believe I'm here. I've just got off a boat. I don't know if I'm going to be able to finish this video. One, because I don't know if the sand works because of the wind and how cold it is. So I don't even know if the camera is going to survive this. But we're going to give it a go. What's happening over here now? I've just come off there. What are the different options? And there, if you want your photo with the flag, and there's a nice hike up top to just see the views of the fjord. Amazing. Do thank, it all. Thank you so much. I will do. So far, Antarctica is exactly what I sort of thought, to be honest, or what you see on the telly. There's not a lot here at all. You see like a few huts as you sort of sail into Antarctica, but other than that, apart from tourists, there is absolutely nothing about. And to be honest, there's not even a lot of tourists about either. I want to see as much as Antarctica as I possibly can. We're going to camp out one night, just sleeping bag on the snow. So I don't know how that's going to turn out, but it'll be interesting to give it a go. I want to see some penguin seals and just see as much of it as possible. I can already tell you the little time I've been here, this is the hardest filming conditions I've ever come across. And obviously I've done some stuff in the Arctic up north, but this is by far harder than that. How are we finding Antarctica, boys? Beautiful. A bit different to Australia, or? Yeah, the weather's a little different. Aussie <laughs> Yeah, Aussie <laughs> summer. <laughs> what do we have over here then? Uh, seal and some penguins. We've got three penguins and a big seal over here. That's amazing, isn't it? It's mad to think the sun's out in the background and you just do not feel any heat of it at all. Nothing. The wind, I have never felt wind like it. It is so cold. Interesting fact as well, obviously there's a lot of tourists here now, but as you can see behind me, there's like these paths and trails that the expedition team make. And the reason they make them is that with boot holes and stuff like that in the snow, penguins can actually fall into them and obviously can't get back out. It's actually really cool that people actually think of that to make the effort so it doesn't happen. We're just walking up this hill now, like doing a small trek. I don't know how far it is to get up there. I feel like the wind's picking up already. Even just like the higher you go, as you're trekking up, you can feel it. What do we have up here? So this is called Portal Point because it's the portal to the continent. But up here are the most incredible views. Really? Unbelievable. So do a lot of people come here? Well, it's one of the continental landings. How many people would you say visit here in a year, tourist-wise? This year, to Antarctica, I think 100,000 people. Ah, That's amazing. It. Thanks so yeah. much. I can't wait to see up here. Apparently 600,000 people go through Heathrow Airport in a day. 600,000 people go through Heathrow in a yeah. day and only 100,000 visit Antarctica yeah. in 12 months. That's crazy. So it's not bad. The windy, I've never felt wind like it. And you can't explain it when you go home and you try to tell your friends. Nothing does it justice. No. And you meet incredible people. I'm going to go and check it out. Thanks so much. There's even lovely people in Antarctica. It looks like there's a few ways I can go, yeah? But I'm going to go up to the right first. I don't think the camera's going to do this any justice. But behind me is sea. And it follows all the way around. And there's like even like mountains. I don't know if you can see that in the back, but there's a massive mountain in the back over there. And again, the clouds are just misting everything. Honestly, it looks like the Alps in the back. All you can see when you look at the water is just iceberg after iceberg after iceberg. Look at the size of these again. The camera's not gonna do it any justice, but they're massive. Just to have the opportunity to step foot on the seventh continent and to experience this. I'm so grateful. I've just never seen anything like this in my life. I don't even know how to describe it everywhere I look. I'm just like, wow, it's just insane. Just wild penguins running around, seals lying all over the place. It's absolutely incredible. Even the air here is like clean. I can't even explain it. When you go to the sea in the UK, like obviously the air is better than in the city, but here it tastes different. I don't even know how to explain it. Look at these icebergs here, these are massive. They say a third of the icebergs above the water and two thirds is below. So if that's above, what is below? This is definitely the hardest video I have ever tried to make. I don't even know if I can hear myself. I don't even know if the mic's working. In the back are mountains and it is literally like a desert of snow. If you go to Dubai and go in the desert and you see the dunes, it's literally dunes of snow in the back. 
I've been skiing a few times, don't get me wrong, I've seen the Alps, I've gone to Switzerland, France, but I have never seen anything like this. I'm actually not the only Welsh person in Antarctica at the minute. Jess is from <laughs> Wales as well. Where are you from? Newport? Newport! How are you finding Antarctica? Fantastic! It's ridiculous! Very cold! Beautiful. What's your thought? Obviously it's your first time, right? Yes! And how are you finding it? Incredible! Very blue, very white. It is. The water's see-through, isn't yeah. it? I didn't <laughs> expect like that. A bit like a Cardiff City shirt. A Cardiff City, come on. Would you come again, Jess? Absolutely. Have you been stood here all day? How are you handling the cold? Pretty well, yeah, I'm from Scotland. How does this compare to Scotland? It's probably colder in Scotland. Yeah, I don't know, I think the views might be a bit better here in Scotland. Yeah. I have not got a clue how camping's gonna go later. Trying to camp outside in this is going to be a nightmare. I don't even know if I'm going to survive it. I'm coming to the end of this trek now. Just gone along the whole of this. I'm just on my way back now. This will be interesting to see what's next. How are you? Cold? Well, a bit, but not really that much. I expect it to be even windier. Really? Yeah. So what knots is it at the minute? Between 30 and 40, I will believe. Makes me think a lot of Patagonia. Do you live in Patagonia? I live in Patagonia, yeah. Ah, nice. How is it like in Patagonia? Well, it's mountains, it's snow, it's lakes, so I love it. Yeah. But there is some kind of eternal feeling here, a sense of eternity rather, yeah. that I think makes Antarctica a special place. Yeah, for sure. How many times have you been to Antarctica? This is my first time. No way! <laughs> we know that if you get a sled from that slope and continue on, you can go to the South Pole. Well, and and is it this. achievable to get to the South Pole from here? I have a friend that did that. Really? Yeah. yeah. He went from here to the he South Pole? He went from here to the South Pole. And how long did it take him from here? Good question. I think it was a month and a half, but I'm not sure. A month and a half to yes. walk there? Well, I remember that what he said is that for sleeping, he would just check the time on his watch. Yeah. Because, of course, there were no nights. So they would be sleeping according to the watch rather than to the sun and darkness. No darkness. No in the sun. way. I imagine he did that in January. Yeah. And, he, and he had enough food for three months with him? Yes, he... they had to take it. No way. Yeah. And did he get back quicker or was it six weeks there, six weeks back? Maybe they came back by plane. There's an American base at the, in the South Pole. So uh, good to meet you. A pleasure. Yeah. <laughs> I'll see you later. Of course. Have a good one. Who would have thought meeting new people in Antarctica were cool stories? Wow, getting tired now. Are you dancing to keep warm? Yes. Is that the only way to keep warm around here? <laughs> <laughs> well, when you've been standing here for two hours, yes. <laughs> what did you think? Amazing, like all the views and Isn't stuff. Isn't it incredible? It's incredible. It's just a shame the camera doesn't do it any justice. Look how far the ship is. I know. It's going to be some journey back to the ship. You can't even see it. It's right in the distance. Do you know the story of Portal Point? Why it's called Portal Point? It's a good access point. So it's because it's a good it's access a portal point? Portal to the continent. Really? So so yeah, most expeditions good. start here then. Well yeah. on that note, I'm off to the South Pole. I'll see you later. <laughs> Wish me luck. Hey. I've got a couple of Mars bars and a bottle of Coke. I should be fine. <laughs> see you later. Have a good one. Here he is, the man of the hour, Declan how are we, mate? Welcome we have to mainland Antarctica. To Portal Point. Did you know most expeditions start here to go to the South Pole? Is that right? Yeah, that's why it's called Portal Point apparently. Nice. How good is that? So when are you starting your expedition? Now, I'm going. Let's get on it. South Pole, here we come. <laughs> have you got the Twix and the Mars bars? Mate, I've got the Coca-Cola. In the bag. In the bag, in let's the bag. go. You won't believe who I've just come across. <laughs> Batman, what are you doing here? I'm here in Antarctica trying to fight crime. <laughs> yeah. How are you getting on? Have you caught any criminals yet? Found the penguin. <laughs> <laughs> I found a penguin. <laughs> mate, that is so sick. Yeah, and you're cold in that. No, it's hot, man. <laughs> <laughs> mate, that's so sick. Definitely. Nice to meet All you. Right. Good to meet Have you. a good one. Yeah. Look who I've just bumped into. Chris from DC. You can't even see it's him because he's so wrapped up. How do you find Antarctica? to DC. Amazing. DC or Antarctica? Oh, Antarctica every day. It's a cool place, right? Real cool place. Have it's you a windy seen, place. How many countries have you been to? Somewhere in the 30s. And have you ever been to anywhere like this? No, absolutely not. This is one of a kind. Just come into the Zodiac now. I need to jump on these boats to get to the next bit. Have a good one, guys. We're on the Zodiac now. This is our captain, Mr. John. How are you, mate? Good day? Yeah, good, buddy. The wind has died down. I know, the wind it's has gone, hasn't it? How quick do these Zodiacs go, John? 
No, definitely don't show me. Definitely don't show me. When the water pops up, when you hit a wave, it's freezing. And we've just found out that our gloves are not waterproof either. How long have we got to go in the Zodiac, John? Probably a good 15. I am now at Damoy Point. Surprisingly, there's actually no wind here because so far on this trip, it has just been constant wind. But there's no wind here. So you might actually be able to hear me on this one. I just need to make it up these stairs. Hey, how are you? Very You've good, built a thanks. staircase in the snow. We have, yeah. Although I think we thought you were giants because the steps are quite big. <laughs> <laughs> Wish me luck. Oh. I'm heading to two huts at the minute. There's one Argentinian and one British. You can't see them, but they're in the distance over there. The Argentinian hut is actually a refuge hut, so we're not actually allowed to go in there. But the British one, we can. I don't know what to expect of this. It'll be interesting to see what's actually inside it. The snow is so thick, look at this. The snow is coming down like you wouldn't believe. White everywhere. And then you've got the sea in the back. My feet just keep sinking into this. Whoa. I'd be interested to know how deep this snow actually is, because look at these footholds. We're getting closer to the huts now, so you might actually be able to see them. Just in the back, it's literally buried under the snow. That's the one we can't get to. The British one that we can get to is here. Look how deep the snow is on the roof. And here, we've got the plaque, the Moy Hut. And here we have it. Thank you. Oh wow. We can make a cup of coffee in here, right? Yeah. John, what's the history of this place? Built in hut? 1975. And the idea was it would help to get scientists into the field early. The aircraft would fly in and land on the skiway above the hut. The scientists would stay here for one day, maybe even less. So it was designed for scientists? Yeah, it was. And field assistants and all the, all the staff. Anybody going to the base at Rother early in the season. And the idea was the aircraft could come in from Rother, pick yeah. them up, and fly them down, back down to Rothera before the sea ice at Rothera broke up. Which yeah. meant that the scientists could maximise the length yeah. of their field season. And how many people would this house all at once? You could get about 15 in here. And is this used to today or is it no, just tourists no, this, now? this is now run by the UK Antarctic Heritage Trust. It was declared a historic site. My worry is I came down here just a couple of years after this hut was built. Really? So if I stand still for any longer, there's a great risk of me being declared a historic site. I must go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm guessing this is the kitchen area. You've got the water tank here. A little cooker. I'm guessing that's just been put there to show how it was. Do you know if there's any like original items in here or is it all just been put I, there? I imagine most of them are really? original. For example, this is milk powder from Uruguay. That's still full then? It's still full. Wow. Uh, so that would have been I, an original thing the, that was here. Oh Yes. This Primus stove, for example, built in Sweden, uses uh, kerosene as a ah, okay. fuel. And you can see that to heat water, they use, uh, it could be coal, I imagine, because yeah. wood will be far more Ah, so they burn it underneath. It would be for the heating of the hut, but also to, to have uh, hot water. So again, this would have been the exact one they used, wouldn't it? For sure. No, yeah. no doubt about that. This Ovaltine, I imagine, is British, original. Yeah. Uh, mount Ovaltine. Mountaineers did use this a lot. I don't know if it's still... So this would have been an original product it from 1975. Is. Right? As, as you can see, it has yeah. its weight. It's not empty. I wouldn't try it, <laughs> but it's still there. It even says here, produce of the United Kingdom. It did fly quite a few miles to get here. So that'll still have butter in it. Uh -huh. <laughs> Look at this for a jar of Marmite. How old do you reckon that is? And I reckon it's full as well. We've got my favourite drawer, biscuits and chocolate. We can actually open this one. Quick dissolving white sugar. Milk, chocolate, biscuit and fruit. Oh wow, there's like a lot of sachet stuff here. What's in the rest of the cupboards? Oh, look at this. Taifu tea bags. Still a full box. Oh my god, look at this. PG tips. Please tell me you've tried PG tips. I have no idea what they are. You don't know what PG <laughs> tips know. are? I do like Yorkshire tea, but uh -huh. arguably this is the best tea in the UK. This is the best one. Look at that. Yeah. Cadbury's Bourneville. It's still in there. I'd love a bar of chocolate now, but I ain't touching that. I make me ill. Right, let's have a look in here. 
Oh wow, these are the bunk beds. So you've got six bunks here, three in the middle, and then you've got another six over there. So that's quite a lot. So this room alone could hold 15 people. I'm guessing this is another door to outside in the back. And then what do we have here? Oh, it's like a little workshop. You've got hammers, rope, saw. We've even got like old school snowshoes there, like tennis rackets. They're pretty cool. Two stoves, like cooking stoves, papers. I don't want to touch them because I'm not too sure what they are. Medical guide, Newsweek. British Auto Guard. When's that from? 18th of October 1980 that edition's from. You've got a cartoon, 28 pence. Super Colour Fantasia. Newsweek again, 29th of October. Look at that. Testing Moscow's limits. 29th of October 1984. Oil prices under pressure. Flipping out oil prices are under pressure now as well. A title that could be written nowadays. I know. And that was in 1984. If that uh -huh. was written today, you wouldn't even question it, yes, would you? Yes, exactly. Have we changed? Have we grown? <laughs> yeah, not at all. Oh wow, what's this? <laughs> there were only men here. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's actually a photography magazine. It is a photography magazine. August 1984. I wasn't born when uh -huh. this magazine was printed. Uh -huh. The history here as well. I bet it was a lot different here in 1975 as well. Of course, the world was different. Over here, I think you've got like the medicine stuff. Multivitamin. Where got toothpaste. <laughs> Colgate is like a metal tube as well. This place literally has not been touched for decades. It's hard to imagine what it would be like for people to live in here and how long did they live in here? Did they just do like a winter, like November to March or did they stay here all year round? How did they get here? How did they leave? How long did it take? There's so many things it would be so interesting to see. A lady was telling me as well, on the door it says Bass, L and Duma. So Bass is like base, L is for London. So all this wood came from London because it's here as well. This hut was actually supposed to be built in somewhere called Duma, but because of the weather or whatever it was, they didn't end up building it there. They brought all the wood here and they built it here. So interesting. Right, let's get my name signed in here. Simon Wilson, okay. Wrexham, Wales, Remarks, Cymru, um, Bith. I wish I was spending the night in here instead of camping. You're camping tonight? Yeah, camping okay. tonight. Okay. It's going to be heavy in this weather. It will be different than spending a night here, uh, I can imagine. If I'm having a problem, I'll sneak back in here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> back into the snow. I can't believe there's no wind at the minute. It makes a difference, doesn't it? Massive difference. Right, au revoir. The last time I'll see the Demoy hut, <laughs> unless I sneak in here because camping's too cold. <laughs> Thank you so much for your time. You're very welcome. It was amazing to see Demoy Hut. Wish me luck trekking back. That's so amazing seeing that hut and just thinking of the men who built it in 1975 and staying there overnight in these conditions and the temperatures. Can you imagine 15 people in that tiny little hut as well? Like sleeping wise it's not too bad. You're gonna have a problem if someone snores. I hope the weather doesn't turn from what it is at the minute. Being in Antarctica for the little time I have I can see how quickly it changes. The Moy Hut, what a location. And again in the back, you've got like the bay. Lots of penguin colonies dotted around as well. Let's go see if we can see one. Look how many penguins are here. There's loads of them. Check this guy out. This is incredible just to see this. There must be thousands of penguins here, thousands. Look at these guys, these are making a move. Dan, what do you think of these penguins? Have you seen so many penguins in your entire life? No, never. You know, who knows how many are in the water too. Yeah, just that's like it. Up. You can feel it getting colder. The wind and the snow's picking up. These penguins though have got no problems in this. There is so many. Some are standing up, some are lying on the ground. Declan. Simon. How are you? How's this experience for you, mate? Absolutely amazing. So this is the first penguin colony we've seen, right? Yeah, it's the first penguin colony yeah. that we've seen that's like a full colony. Full colony. How many penguins do you reckon are here? 
easily like five, ten thousand, I'd say. There's got to be, isn't it? Yeah, there? it has to be. Man. Like easy. when you think they're going all over the mountains yeah. over there and everything. Right down to the huts. So yeah. The huts are what down this way? Yeah. Could be twenty thousand. I don't know. Like they're just everywhere. When you first come to Antarctica, is this what you expected? Yes, but you can't explain it. And that seems like the common theme anybody, in the video. You just can't explain yeah. it. Like we are five meters from a penguin in the wildest place on Earth. It's incredible. Look how close we are, though. Just seeing them in their natural habitat. No Attenborough or no documentary can yeah. properly explain this. Yeah. You know, like you know it yourself, we're here. It's, 100%. Um, it's, it's quite phenomenal, really. And very surreal. Are you looking forward to camping later? I cannot wait. Can you imagine camping out in this in, in this weather. This is going to be challenging. I don't even know what to expect. Before I came on the trip, I had a very grandiose image of what the camping was going to be. And it is going to be nothing like that. It's going to be rugged outside, no tent, in a sleeping bag. No tent? No tent. In this. Are you winding me up? In this land. There's no tent? There's no tent, mate. We're going to we get are... soaked in the snow. Potentially, but that's why we've got this gear on, right? Oh We just my keep this God. gear on, get no sleep. We're not going to sleep tonight, let's be honest. We take this landscape in, mate. It's phenomenal. No one told me there was no tent. I there... thought we at least got a tent. There is no tent. So, Simon, welcome to Antarctic, oh mate. Oh, my God. Welcome to Antarctic no camping. Tent. So what if a penguin comes up to us when we're sleeping? If a penguin comes up to you when you're sleeping, you roll over and wait for them to go away from you. Oh my god. That is essentially the way it is. And it's very possible that penguins will be all around us as we sleep. How cool is that going to be though? Like sleeping with penguins. Yeah. Right, I'll make a move. Declan, have a good one. Keep going, I'll mate. see you in a bit. I'll see you in the camping. Look after yourself, mate. I'll see you in a bit. The plan now is to go to Deception Island, which is a volcano, an active volcano that erupted tens of thousands of years ago, but the crater's still there. So we're going to go head up there and see what it's like. If you can see in the background, you've got a, basically a lake in the middle. That's the volcano. But just up here is a crater. I'm making the long walk now to the crater. Hey, how are you, man? You good? What's it like up there? It's nice and sheltered from the wind. Is it? Yeah, mate. How windy is it here? It's insane. How many times have you been on Deception Island? Probably around 30 times, I reckon. 30 times? Yeah, mate. Now, how does this weather compare to how it normally is? This is quite typical. Yeah, it's really? often a very windy place. But you can get beautiful weather here as well. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah, this wind isn't uncommon either. Nice to see you, mate. Yeah, mate. Wish me luck. Yeah. What a journey. Let's go. Walking in the snow is so much harder than you think. I've still got quite a bit to go as well. There's a long way up there and the wind is so bad. The snow is like ice. He said it's going to be well worth the view when we get up there. It'll be interesting to see what it's like. Hey, how's it like up there? Is it good? Oh my god, it's gorgeous. Is it amazing? Yeah. Oh, it's just amazing. Yeah. Oh, I can't wait to see it. Yeah. Have a good one. Safe trip back down. Okay, there's two people said it's amazing up there now. So I'm looking forward to seeing this. An active volcano. I don't think it erupted that long ago, actually. It'll be interesting once we get up there to speak to somebody. How's the snowshoes? Good? Yeah, I think it's probably just as easy grabbing on your feet. Well, at least it's a bit more Well, uh, it's a bit of an experience, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, for sure. You've got to try it. It looks pretty you cool. Do. If you don't cross them, cross them, you go falling on your face. Oh, geez, <laughs> don't do that. Have a good one. We're nearly at the top now. What's it like up here, gents? Yeah, it's awesome, yeah, man. man. Is it? It's cold, but it's I'm good. getting there. I'm getting to the top. Wish me luck. Where's the crater, mate? Right here, mate. Oh, wow, let's have a look at this. Oh, this is literally the edge here. The edge. This is the old uh, volcanic crater right here. Oh, wow, look at it. You can literally see it in there, can't you? Yeah. So when did this last erupt? It's, it's erupted recently. One of the most famous eruptions was in the 70s. Really? And there's a, a British base just over that hill that got completely destroyed by wow. a low energy kind of effusive eruption, very similar to this. So this is like a bit of a half moon crater here. Yeah, I can see and it. What's happened is that this glacier has been coming forward, pushing a lot of debris and a lot of sand, a lot of volcanic ash into this kind of crater. It's a really cool spot. It is, isn't it? Just to be able to see it. So is this like all volcanic ash on the side? Yeah, there? exactly. And you can it? see up here, see the right from the ice. So that's the glacier yeah, and all yeah. the ash. So well, what's the plan with like this volcano? Would it erupt again anytime soon? No one knows or is that it for a while now? Yeah, it's pretty active. They're monitoring it daily. They monitor it daily? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, uh, wow. I mean, it's, it's like live monitoring. They look at the GPS measurements to see if this is kind of rising and falling, if the land is moving. Because the last time when the eruption occurred, the water was so hot in the caldera that it stripped the paint off the ships that were in here. It stripped the paint off the boat? Yeah, yeah. Wow. Oh, and it was literally just in the harbour over there? Pretty wild. Yeah, exactly. Pretty wild stories. 
and that was in the 70s so yeah. that wasn't even that long ago then no. like 50 years exactly. so are they expecting anything or no no just monitoring i mean it's active so it could happen any time but they're monitoring it oh wow interesting yeah. well thanks very much for that man i appreciate it guys what do we think of the volcano very albert cool. you first what do you think mate <laughs> yeah i think it's great it's a beautiful view up here it's cool isn't it he was just saying the lines in the glacier over there, like of the ash and stuff. All the cracks of the basalt and the volcanic yeah. lava. Look at the crater there, you can see the half moon coming round. So that was literally there. Can you imagine being stood here like 50 years ago just looking at that? Let's just hope it doesn't erupt anytime soon, because if it does, we're in trouble. You good? Alright, let's go. How are you doing up there? We're doing just fine, actually. I think we're both taping each other. <laughs> oh, yes. From a Welshman to another Welshman. Yes. I <laughs> love it. So, what's this base called? Paradise Bay. Paradise Bay? Yes, it's a scientific base run by the Argentines. So, as an Argentine that I also are, I can imagine they're making a grill here. I can smell the meat being cooked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ah, look at this. Almirante Brown and the Argentine Brown, flag. Brown, he was our admiral. Was he? Actually, yes, Brown, if I'm not mistaken, could be Welsh backgrounded. Really? A great admiral. Can we go into any of these huts? Ah, uh, they're closed. Ah, they're so, closed. Uh, There's a fair few of them here. This is the most amount of huts I've seen so far. You've got one here, which is Almirante Brown. And as you can see, the Argentine flag, but again, completely snowed under. And you seem to have another one here, and then one that's sort of like an L shape around there. And we've got this path in the snow. I wonder what's actually in these. To introduce you to another Wrexham man in Antarctica. I'm not the only Wrexham man here. But now an Aussie. Jay, do you know what's in these huts at all? No, it's used to a research base. It's a research base. So who knows what they've left behind? Yeah. It's not occupied right now. It's not it's occupied. Argentine research base, so that's why we're allowed to be here now because it's not occupied. Ah, uh, okay. So when do they come back to sort uh, of occupy the I site? Guess when they want to do some research. Wow, look at this on the roof. That is how much snow is on this roof. Hey, how are you? Hey, good. How's the digging going? Making platforms for your viewing experience. Ah, thank you. Do you have any idea what are in these huts? Is it storage or? Yeah, I'm really not sure. At least they've got Wi-Fi here. <laughs> Super Wi-Fi. Super Wi-Fi, <laughs> that's fibre right there. As you can see, the bases are behind me. If you turn the other way, we've got a colony of penguins right here. We were actually supposed to trek up this bit and go right to the top because there's an amazing viewpoint. But as you can see, the snow is that bad. There's just no way of doing that. No way. One of the guys was saying that he first came to Antarctica in 2011 and this is the most snow he's seen since 2011 in Antarctica, which is crazy. I think this is going to be us for Almirante Brown because we can't really get too far and it's such a shame that all the huts are actually closed but I count one, two, three, four and there's one at the back so five research huts. Be interested to know when they actually come here and how long they stay for. I can imagine these are sort of just as old as the Demoy hut. Right let's get out of here. Right the time now is 9.29 at night and you can see how light it is here. I don't think the sun actually goes down but we're gonna find out the darker it gets because obviously it's the first time I've been here as well. This is my camping gear. I'm not too sure what's in this but it's definitely a sleeping bag. We've got no tent and it is going flat on the snow. I don't know if you can see on camera but it is snowing heavy but it's fine so I'm thinking that could actually be worse, but it'll be interesting to see if I wake up under snow. But I'm gonna grab my tent now and go and find a spot. That'll be the area that we'll all sleep in. Go ahead on up, pick yourself a spot. I really don't know how I feel about this. The snow's coming down a bit heavier. Declan, Chris, what's the plan? Are you picking a spot? Let's go up and just 
Survey the area. Survey the area. Survey. I've got Captain Scott in front of me and Roald Amundsen behind me. <laughs> Try and go to the top right. At the minute, we're just trying to find a good spot. The snow is so deep, we're gonna have to flatten it down. If we put a sleeping bag in this snow, it's just gonna sink. Jimmy, do you mind if I join you, mate? Oh, uh, 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 this is hard work. Look how deep my feet are in this. So we'll just take this area here, will we? Yeah, should we just take this? Yeah, let's start stamping. Oh. Plan now is to try and stamp this down. I don't know how long it's gonna take. This is gonna be the most uncomfortable night's sleep I've ever had. I think I've got a quicker option. Oh, this is actually quite comfy because it molds to your body. I've got a, oh, come on now. Mate, I can't even get up. Oh. <laughs> We're getting there. We're getting there. It's getting a little bit flatter. It's just the odd like big hole. Whew, we're done, right? Well, we're not done, but we're nearly there. Let me introduce you to the team. <laughs> We've got Jimmy from Scotland, Glasgow. We've got an Irishman, Declan from... Westmead. And we've got Chris, all the way from... Washington, DC. Sounds like a joke, this boys. Yeah. A Scotsman, an Irishman, a Welshman, and an American. <laughs> right, on a serious note, boys, what are we thinking tonight? Do we think this is gonna be hard? The snow is gonna make it tough, I reckon. It's gonna come down all night, yeah, that looks like. And that's what they said, the forecast is gonna come down all night. Very possible we wake up in the morning with a nice little Covered blanket. It. Can you imagine being underneath here? A nice here? little yeah, blanket of snow. Like <laughs> Jimmy will wake up and think he's in Glasgow. There's more snow in Glasgow. Chris, how does this compare to DC, man? It's a little colder, I think. <laughs> Just, Just a little. You know, what concerns me, though, is Jimmy's had his sleeping bag down 10 minutes and it's already covered in snow. I think this is going to be a lot harder than what we think. We're off the water as well, so you're going to get all the breeze from all that sea over there. Man. This ain't going to be easy. Oh, are we not, man? This is going to be a doddle. <laughs> <laughs> Just to give you some sort of idea how deep the snow is, right? This pole, so it's by my head, goes all the way down to sort of between my knee and my foot. Right, are you ready for this? Look at this, goes in, it just keeps going. The only reason I stop is because my hand won't go any further. Right, I'm gonna get my sleeping bag down. Which side is it? Yeah, that's for my feet. Put my head up there and my feet there. Perfect. Is this gonna be warm enough? I don't think it is, you know. Here's my life jacket. That's my tombstone right there. I'm gonna put the bag in just to keep it dry for now. Well, I'm gonna go and check the toilet situation. I'll let you know what check it's like. It make sure it's working okay. Mate, I'll make and sure. The plug. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll make sure the plumbing's make all sure good. The through. <laughs> <laughs> so apparently the toilet's just up here. How's the toilet situation, guys? Plumbing works great. The plumbing's great, that's good to know. Yeah, just watch yourself. Have you used the toilet yet? Absolutely. There's two, there's one over here, there's one here. We've got two toilets? Yeah. Flipping, heck, even better. Is it men and the ladies, or? I think it's non-binary, just you go whatever. <laughs> right, sweet. Let's go and check it out. You're winding me up. This isn't the toilet, surely. This is the toilet. You've got poles showing the way. You come down here, you've got a little step, and then that's the toilet. How does this work? Oh wow, that is literally a lid and there's a carrier bag and you sit on that and then you've got a toilet roll holder there, hand sanitizer there. They've done a good job digging it out, but I do not fancy sitting on that. This is a pretty funky toilet. It's a great job, man. Yeah, done a great job of digging it out. I've been doing this job for uh, 12 years, never seen something like that. That was the girl. We've even got a toilet roll holder. The girls are the best, man. They've done a great job, but I hope I don't need the toilet tonight, because that is gonna be cold. I can confirm they've done a great job of the toilet. It's got a great view, but I hope, Jimmy, that you're not gonna have to go there tonight, mate. Can you put your knees between your and guess it goodbye. <laughs> You're not gonna wanna use that toilet tonight. I might need to use it right now. Good luck, mate. This is crazy. I can't believe we're actually doing this. Yeah, I know. The time now is 10.31, and look, it's still light. Do you think it gets any darker than this, or do you think it just stays like this? I think this? it'll get a little darker, it gets, but it's it still gonna darker, be darker, like... but it takes a long time, I think. And ultimately, I think it'll get lighter earlier as well, won't it? Yeah. Look at this it's view in the back. A while. This is special, this. I can't even believe we're doing this. If we went to sleep now, we'd be snowed in by the morning. Oh, there would be a lot of snow on us. There'd be a lot. Do you shut the whole bag? Do you zip it all the way? Or do you just pull it over you? It depends on your preference but I think a lot of people 
people are going to close it over their heads. Yeah, I'm going to have to close it over my head or I'll be snowed on. Jimmy, I can't but help notice, mate. Are you struggling down there, pal? I'm struggling down there, mate. I can't get my gear off for the first time ever. <laughs> <laughs> I just can't get it off quick enough. Do you want a hand? Aye. I've never took a Scotsman's boots you're off never, before. You've never slept a Scotsman before, <laughs> eh? <laughs> you need two hands, bro. Mate, I can't do that. Well, I'll better pull them up again then. <laughs> Time now is 11.44 and everybody's asleep. Chris is asleep, my sleeping bag's full of snow, Declan's asleep and Jimmy's asleep. As you can see though, it's still not that dark. It's still pretty light out here. I probably should go to bed so I don't wake everybody up. You are, now I'm lying down, it is a lot colder on the floor than it is standing up. Dick, are you cold? Yeah, it's pretty chilly, man. So much more chilly on the ground. It's still snowing really bad as well. I'm getting wet and my hands are freezing. Right, this is me. I'm going to try and go to sleep now. It's just before midnight. Let's see how much sleep I can actually get out here. I'm going to pull this over me. Wish me luck. 4.48 in the morning. I've not slept a wink. How was your night's sleep, boys? Shocking. Was it? I haven't slept a wink either. You, and you, snore. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even snore. I don't know what you're on about. Oh, I've got a hear you last night. <laughs> I don't know why you're laughing, Chris. I can hear myself snore. Well, then why didn't you stop? I'm covered in snow. Absolutely covered. Oh, God, the weather out here this morning. Oh, it's bitter. Any idea on the time? Five to five. We getting out now, are we? Oh. My wellies are covered in snow. Oh, how was that, Chris? Don't know if I'll ever do it again. But <laughs> I did it. <laughs> right, let's grab this. Oh, my hands are so cold. 5 a.m. in Antarctica. This is painful. Get me back on that ship. Wow, that was really hard. So cold. Didn't sleep an absolute <laughs> wink. And it's so hard waking up in the cold. Just about to head back to the ship now. The boats are coming in. I can say that was an amazing experience. But oh my god, it was cold. I didn't sleep a wink. It was uncomfortable. But I highly recommend it if you ever get the chance. Anyway, wish me luck. I'm heading back to the ship to have a hot shower. Hope you enjoyed my Antarctica took a video that was like the hardest video ever to make. Have a good one and I'll see you soon.